Hey guys, so in this video we're going to review a little bit of history and then we're going to talk about what happens between the Old Testament and the New Testament. But first, let's remember a little bit of history. In 1000 BC, King David is king over the north and the south, a unified kingdom of Israel. In 930 BC, that kingdom splits up into the northern kingdom of Israel and to the southern kingdom of Judah. Remember, the kings were bad, the people did not listen to the prophets, and so God brought punishment on them for their disobedience. That happened for the northern kingdom in 722 BC, when Samaria, the capital of the northern kingdom, was taken over by the Assyrians. Then, in 586 BC, Jerusalem, the capital of the southern kingdom, gets taken over by the Babylonians. And all of the people that lived in the southern kingdom of Judah are taken captive and brought in to Babylon. And they're in Babylon for roughly 70 years. And then in 516 BC, King Cyrus, the king of the Persian Empire, which took over after the Babylonian Empire, King Cyrus says, all right, people, you can go home. I'm still going to be in charge over you, but you can go back to your homes and rebuild your temples. So in 516 BC, the Jewish people return to Jerusalem and begin rebuilding the temple. That's when Ezra and Nehemiah take place. So. Here's where things stood at the end of the Old Testament. The Northern Kingdom, it's pretty much gone. The Assyrians came in, took all of the people that lived there, moved them out into different places, and had new people move in. So the result was a mixed ethnicity people group called the Samaritans. The Southern Kingdom, they've returned. They've come back from exile in Babylon. Persia is still in control, but they were able to rebuild the temple. So now they have a second temple. Also, like we talked about in class, there were promises of hope in the prophecies that the people were looking forward to. They were looking for a savior who will rule forever and fulfill the covenant promises. They were looking for that person that would crush the serpent's head and get rid of evil. They were looking for the person that would bless the world, just like God said Abraham's family would do. They were looking for the person who would be king forever, just like God promised David. Now we have something called the intertestamental period. Intertestamental just means between the testaments. There's about 400 years of history that takes place between the Old Testament and the New Testament. We know about this time period because of outside history books. Persia was in charge at the end of the Old Testament. After Persia, the Greek Empire took power. So Greece took over Persia. During that time, there was fighting between the Jews and the Greek Empire. And in fact, for a small window of time, the Jewish people had independence. But they never had a kingdom like when David was king or Solomon was king or any of those kings. It was like a brief time of independence where they had some leaders, but they weren't very powerful. After the Greek Empire, Rome took over, and Rome was very, very powerful. Rome became in charge of the Jews, and so the Jewish people did not have independence anymore. They did still have a king. It was a series of kings named Herod from the Herodian dynasty, but the Herodian dynasty was really more of a vassal king. They were not from the line of David, so they were not the kings that the Jewish people were hoping and waiting for. 
That is what happened between the Old Testament and the New Testament. And that sets the scene for what's going to happen in the next books of the Bible.